Let's talk about the idiom bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to fry. Okay? So it means to have more important things to do or that something is not important, right? I have bigger fish to fry. Very common to put have in front of it. I have bigger fish to fry. In other words, I have more important things to do. Mm -hmm. So the lady here, she is kind of rolling her eyes, which means you probably heard it before. If someone rolls their eyes like this, they're thinking, mm, I don't want to be here. I don't agree with you or whatever. Uh huh. So uh, we have a fish over here in a pan. And the idiom doesn't really have anything to do with a fish in the pan, but it's interesting. So maybe she's watching someone cook the fish, and she's like, mm, I'd rather be at home reading my book or watching a movie, but I have more important things to do, and I don't want to be doing this right now. Okay, so let's take a look at this idiom in the past, present, and future. I'm going to read each sentence out loud and then pause so you can repeat out loud after me. Okay, here we go. Repeat out loud. Tom told me he had bigger fish to fry and that my request was not important. Okay, so in other words, Tom told me that he has more important things to do. Or Tom told me that he has better things to do or things that he would rather be doing. And that my request was not important, right? So maybe this could be a work situation and uh, Tom could be the boss or maybe he's in charge of a department and I need something from him. But what I need is a very low priority item. And so when I tell him, you know, I need this form filled out or whatever, and he's like, well, I have more things, more important things to do. I'm sorry, but I have bigger fish to fry, right? Okay, let's do the present. Repeat out loud after me. Sue has bigger fish to fry and is refusing to see the sardine salesman. Okay, so in this situation, we could say it, Sue has more important things to do. Sue has other things that she needs to get done. And she's refusing, she's deciding not to to see the sardine salesman, all right? So maybe, I don't know, maybe she works in electronics or something, <laughs> and she's hard at work trying to sell her items, and so this guy pops up and he's like, hey, you wanna buy some sardines? And the lady's like, tell him to go away. I do not want to talk with him. I have more important things to do. I have bigger fish to fry. All right, let's do the future. Repeat out loud after me. Next year, I'll be promoted, and I'll have much bigger fish to fry than I do now. Okay, so this sounds like a good work situation. So next year, I'll be promoted. Maybe right now, I'm like a secretary or receptionist or very low on the hierarchy of the company. And I'm like, whew, I've been studying and planning for a new position, so maybe they will promote me. And I plan to be promoted. So I'll be promoted, and I'll have much bigger fry, fish to fry. I'll have much more important things to do than I do now. So let's say I'm the receptionist. It's important, but it's not as a position that creates a lot of value for the company, not, not in like a way that they would pay you a lot of money. So you probably want to move up and get promoted or something. So if you're the receptionist, you greet people, you take, you do schedules, you talk to people, stuff like that. But next year, maybe you're going to be promoted to junior salesman or something like that, where you have more important things to do, like dealing directly with the clients, something like that. So you could say, I'll have much bigger fish to fry. I'll have more prestigious, more respectable things to do, more important things to do than I do now. Okay. So we talked about the idiom, bigger fish to fry, bigger fish to fry. And it just means to have more important things to do, right? And remember, it's very common to put have in front of bigger. I have bigger fish to fry. Mm-hmm. All right. Sounds delicious.